Hello YouTubers, it's Dry Nick Dave here and um, today I'm on a little bit of a recon mission which I'm hoping later on is going to turn into um, a fishing film so I'm out with my little dog Vincent Von Wolf or Vinny to his friends and um, just checking out some old haunts really um, I haven't been to this place here in probably 37 years so it's a bit of a reminiscing trip for me as well what you're looking at now is the great entrance to a network of tunnels that basically are surface runoff tunnels for all the rainwater and road water in the area where I am at the moment some of you will know where this is if you're local and um, Basically when I was a kid, about 12 or 13, me and my mates, we used to go up these tunnels and with torches and we'd have a little walk around, do a bit of exploring and stuff. And even in the summer we used to actually walk the length of these streams, roll our trouser legs up, take our shoes and socks off and actually walk down the, the streams just to go and do a bit of exploring because we didn't have internet and Xboxes in those days. But um, anyway, I'm going to have a little walk along this stream because I have a feeling that they may be fishable and if I think they are after this little recon mission I will be coming back with some gear and uh, maybe having a go so we'll see what happens I actually remember these three trees four trees I should say because one of them just split up but don't ever remember that one being that big wow anyway have another little look down at the edge of the river. I mean, it's a lot shallower, very shallow. It's extremely shallow. So these are the bits though that I'm not thinking about fishing. But there is always sticklebacks that kind of stuff present in these but when it rains it's often something that does occur this can go well you can see the edges of the bank where it's all stripped and brown all right this probably increases in depth by about a good two feet and now we're a little bit further down it's that same little stretch of overflow river it does look a little bit deeper here, and I seem to remember it was always a little bit deeper here. But, um, whether there's fish in it or not, who knows. We always thought that when it rained and it used to come tearing through, that all of this lot would be uh, washed through and anything that was in there would get washed away. This is quite interesting because this bit here, was completely clear of vegetation. You can see the bits of concrete there, down here. And I don't know if you can see it under the water there, but there is one of those um, little waterfall bits there. And we used to have to walk across that if the water was too high. But in that bit there, usually it was wide enough just to step over, because it used to run down to a trickle. So this has changed quite significantly from when I used to come down here as a kid very much um, that suggests the water levels are higher because that actually used to be a little waterfall there and water used to run off of it um, yeah oh kingfisher just shot through there I don't know if I caught that on film or not it's interesting to know so there may still be stickies in there you might be eating them so there's a gap I'm walking further on. Oh, wow. Then we just disturbed the heron. See, everything suggests I've seen a kingfisher, now I've seen a heron. It all suggests that there's got to be fish in here. Why would they be if they weren't fishing it? So these are the little spots I'm talking about that I think might be worth trying the line through. Big old tree there. I say it's been over 35 years since I came down here. 
you know, you're going to expect it to have changed a bit. Looking at this bit here, when the rain comes, this lot goes underwater. By the looks of it. To where I'm standing now, will probably be submerged after a rainstorm. But I'm just trying to find the spots. I might be able to come down here with a rod and have a little fishing. So, uh, Urban fishing at its best. I'm still following the course of the river. And uh, now we're going to go for Blackbridge next year. This is so overgrown, what it used to be like. Post a bit. Got a nice little spot down there. Right up below. I wonder if we can get down there. That path. the main road, we'll cross over and come back on the other side, see if there's any access points on the other side. As you can probably tell, it's a bit blowy today, um, apparently this is Storm Brian, you may have seen him on the news. But, uh, I will actually intend to come out with a rod today, but because of the weather threat, as it were, I've decided against that. Let's have a little look down here. Come in, come in. It's going to be easier if I just take you off the lead, isn't it? Hey. You ain't going to tangle me up. Come down this way. Come on. There's some trees, some gap shot. A little bit of a slope. It looks like we can get down to the river again. Here, and uh, I can see at the moment not what I was expecting at all. Um, it's very, very shallow. This was a lot deeper back in the days, a lot more vegetation and stuff. I think I think it would be a pointless exercise to come and fish this particular stretch. But all is not lost. Because this river runs a long way and there are other areas. One part in particular I believe has a public footpath alongside it. Please don't go in there, dog. I don't want to, have to fish you out. Shopping trolleys, they're just everywhere. If I was coming trolley fishing, I'd be alright. I wonder what scrap value is on there. Got so much junk, nothing's changed in that respect. So I'm living here. Yeah. So I think with a pair of waders I'll probably walk this. 
but there's absolutely no signs of any fish down here. This is another nice little spot, but again, the water is so shallow, it's like four or six inches at the most, and uh, you can see right to the bottom. There's absolutely no evidence that there's any fish here. Um, it's very clean, the water, but surprised I've seen kingfisher. I've seen a heron. I don't know what they're eating, but um, I've seen evidence of nothing in here at all. Certainly, I wouldn't be able to trot a bait down. It'd have to be a free-lined something. But, um, yeah, not what I was hoping to find, unfortunately. But I said there is another river. There's another stretch that I can check out. Hopefully it's a little bit better than this, we'll see. Right, I'll try and get back out of here now. Oh, oh. Let's see if I uh, find that path out. There we go. It's a wee bit steep. Uh, oh. Brace against that, there we go. Oh, right, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure most of these trails that I'm using are what foxes are using just to get down to the river to drink. Not really any evidence of people being down here for any good reason. Here's my dog, there he is. Come on, he's a good boy. There's a good lad, come then. Right, so I've reached the road bridge that I was aiming for, and uh, this is one of the spots me and my mates used to walk down to as far as this, and then we'd. Um, turn around and go back home again and that there's a good example of how why these, these little waterfalls used to work and they were spread all over all the way down the length of the river so I remember them looking like that we used to go underneath that most awkward walk to get through so I'm going to cross over and walk back the other way and see if I can't I, well, just a walk now. I've seen everything I need to see. This bit looks interesting. There's quite a few little pathways and things through here, but it's the same bit of river, so it's going to be in the same kind of a. It's going to be very shallow. Um, I think I've just seen that heron again. He's still about. Um, it looks like somebody may have been living here at some point. Judging from the mess that's been left behind. Uh, yeah, not very good. Come on this way, boy. Go on. Oh, it's all a bit disappointing in the hole. I was hoping that was going to be about four or five foot deep. You know, three foot at the boat at the best. And I might be able to drop, drop, drop a line through there. Put a bait in. But that one's a bust, it's not going to happen. So we search on.